I'm Deidre. I'm a Darius. We're Night Strikes, so we're here at Walt Disney World's Epcot in the UK World Showcase Pavilion. We're here to explore, to tour around, to find new things, find some cool merch, some treats, some... Maybe some beer? I was gonna get to drinks. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> treats and drinks and, and beer and, and cider. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's some very good drinks. One of our favorite drinks is here <laughs> in the UK. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> let's go drink away. I mean, um, let's go get have some, some fun. fun. Okay, have and fun. Some fun. And fun. Okay. <laughs> into the world showcase from the front entrance and you take a right you're gonna pass through Canada and then you will come into the UK right now it is food and wine festival there are four festivals a year here in Epcot every festival has a new menu new food booths or they'll use the same food booths just new food and drinks right now there's Ireland with some fisherman seafood pie <laughs> um, and some warm chocolate pudding cake and and all sorts of good drinks on the right as you come in are the classic London telephone booths, that classic red. And there's also some restrooms as well, in what looks like a, uh, a manor, a little tiny castle. Looks like a lord's house, you can go and be a, uh, a lordship in the bathroom doing your business. All throughout the UK you're going to have these beautiful gardens. Let's see if I can get really up high and show you. It's a very picturesque place. If you got a cute outfit on, you want to come take pictures like a princess, the UK is the place to do it. All right, over on the left are the food and drinks, but um, before we go ahead and start our day, because it's still 10 in the morning, <laughs> let's go check out the stores first. How, how is that grass? Yeah. Like is that okay? Grass. All right. I probably should wash my hands after this, but. I mean, there's a restaurant right behind you. Yeah, this, this grass. This grass is good. I'm a grass person when it comes to Disney yeah. parks. Is it as good as the Animal Kingdom hub grass used no. to be? Oh, okay. No, not even close. Oh, I no. wish I took a picture of it so I could show you guys how amazing <laughs> that grass was, but I can't. But this it is, doesn't exist anymore. Th this is a good like second or third place, right? I feel I feel like this is a fourth or fifth because you got some brown around the tree. Yeah, you're a little brown, but that's okay though. It's it's, it's still real grass, and I love it. Let's head to the store. This is the sportsman's store. Oh, I'm sorry. The sportsman's shop. I do not understand this. Oh, this is a big glare. Hang on. There we go. I don't understand this or what it's supposed to be, but I like it because it's silly. <laughs> but I feel like it's not supposed to be silly. Or maybe it is. Is it satire? Uh, someone from the UK or with UK knowledge, let me know. Is this a coffee mug? Oh my gosh, this is a little heavy. It's a telephone booth, but it's a coffee mug, and it has a lid, so maybe it's a soup mug. Ooh. They probably treat the grass for pesticides, so that's why I like one of the reasons I want to wash my hands. <laughs> I like these bags. I feel like you could get away wearing this bag. If only we had $375. <laughs> to give. Yeah. They're real leather, though. And if you don't want the Union Jack... You can get a regular leather one. They have their own spirit jersey. That's not right. <gasps> Yes, they brought back the Beatles stuff. We've been waiting on this. They've just had the generic UK stuff for so long. I wonder if they also brought back the Doctor Who stuff then. Ooh, look at this hat. Yes. made it to the Ireland part. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so many swords. You get your coat of arms in here. Dragons! And then we have dragons and swords together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can actually buy a sword um, and then you have it sent home to you. <laughs> Not you to you, sent it home to you. Because you can't carry the sword around in the park. So no Doctor Who stuff. But at least we got the Beatles back. 
Everybody write Walt Disney World and tell them to bring back the Doctor Who stuff. This store is very neat. Lots of cool decor. God save the queen. And out we go. Is that Mary Poppins? Tis Mary Poppins. And like a true lady, she's meeting in the shade. Sometimes over here in the UK is also Alice in Wonderland. So um, she'll meet in the garden though. We'll take you over there in a second. But yeah, Mary Poppins is over here um, at Christmas time. This has, I think, the most traditional Santa Claus with like the old Kringle and yeah. Yes, yeah. so definitely check out that video. Look back at some of our older pods. Yeah, we'll, we'll link the, the video with UK Santa down below. So. Oh my gosh, it's kind of creepy, but. I, he was like traditional old school, like, what's that show? Um, where like the three ghosts come and visit. Oh wait, no, no, this wasn't the creepy one. It was no, the, this, one, this one wasn't the barn Santa. The barn Santa was Norway. Oh, okay. This was the one where he was like, rings the bell for every year. And he's like, wait, what year is it? And he's like, I'm going to be ringing this bell for a long time. <laughs> Okay, this is the store we just came out of. It's called the Sportsman Shop and then the Crown and Crest. Um, they're all connected right over here next to the Toy Soldier, which um, isn't actually a store. It's not really open. It's just a storefront, but that's your Kid Cop Fun Stop. And some pins right across from the store that we just came out of is the Queen's Table. Let's take you into the front and then we'll make our way back towards Mary Poppins. First part of the store is called the Tea Caddy. This is, I don't know how to say this word, twinnings or twinings, but this is a tea store. And they have a very good selection of all kinds of tea. And why do I feel like we're gonna buy tea today? We always buy tea, even though we have a ton of tea at home. You can buy your own tea chest and fill it with 10 bags for 18. And it's a very nice wooden box. Pomegranate raspberry green tea, wild berries, pure chamomile, chai, spiced apple, regular chai, green tea, pomegranate, raspberry, and strawberry, and Earl Grey. Oh my gosh, I got a big boy up top. I wonder how much that is. This one's $89.99, and it's just the box. You don't get any tea with it, but it's a very nice box. I would still, I think I would choose the $18 one though. Yeah, I mean like this is real good. I like it. I like it a lot. What tea would you put in it if I were to say put it on your Christmas list? Green tea. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and try the pomegranate and raspberry. Okay. Ooh, I will try the black tea because it has black currant. Oh, black currant. Wait, where was that one? Oh, it's the one I missed in the very front. That sounds good. You can buy some jammies to go with your tea. And they have corgis on them. Want a twinsy? I do. I would love the twinsies. I get it for 20, but... But twin, twinning, twinning tea, twinning twin, with the twin, twin, twinning, twins, twins. $160. So it'll I mean, only it be good. $320 for us to twin. $60. Celebration of the Platinum Jubilee. Oh, shortbread rounds. These are my Nana's favorite. Is this a big thing of cookies? It's a big thing of cookies. Ah. Best of use by 2023 in September. How much is it? Why don't they have curses like on good. stuff here? Oh my gosh. Great. Wow. How much is it? 40? Is this 40? Yeah, that's 40. Those are 40. Oh, I mean, that. That's the softest thing I've ever felt. Hey. <laughs> Look at the Winnie the Pooh. He's so cute. By the Winnie the Pooh ears. And you get a little bumblebee on them. Today is my favorite Today day. Far better than you believe, stronger than you see, and smarter than you think. No kitchen set. That's neat. And they've got a cake stand, a cookie jar. We got a bunch of perfumes in here. I can tell people haven't been in here spraying a whole bunch today yet since it's not overpowering, but it can certainly become a floral madness. Is this a corgi? Oh my. Does it have the cute butt? And I love UK Mini. <laughs> How cute. How much is this? 25. Let's go out the side door here. 
and the beautiful gardens. And this is where we have seen Alice in Wonderland a lot. And sometimes Mary Poppins comes over here when the other spot is not shady anymore. And this will become very shady. So you never know. You just have to come back here and find the characters. All right, that is the tea store and the Winnie the Pooh and the Mickey Fancy a Cuppa store. Oh, what did he find? Oh, I totally missed that. Oh, good find, babe. I didn't even see this. I just passed right by it. It's Mary Poppins' dress and hat, and she's got her teacup and gloves. All right, we're behind the store now. This is where we saw Santa. Up there on that stage is, I don't know, sometimes they have a variety of people playing. You never know what's gonna be up there. There's been keyboards, there's been guitarists, there's been singers, but these aren't just bushes we're walking by. These are like a maze. So it's like a corn maze, but um, for kids. It's really neat. And it's, it's not corn, it's, it's bushes. Oh no, don't get lost. What do, you, what do you think of the maze? Oh my gosh, the big butterflies are back there. <gasps> do you see them? Okay, we're gonna cheat. I don't know if this, this isn't the right way to go. Okay, here we go. Just go this way, go this way. We just find the quietest spot in all of Epcot. All right, we're done over here in the gardens and the shops. It's cider time or beer time. I don't know. It's time to get a drink. If you come in from France, UK is a straight shot in. And then if you come off the Skyliner, also straight shot in. This is over here now. We've got this quick service fish shop. You can get fish and chips here. And then there's a seating area right over here. And that's a great seating area. But our favorite is down this little secret path right here. It looks like it's only for cast members because it's so narrow, but you can actually come and stand by the water or you can go down even further and there's additional tables and chairs down here. You just have to watch out for the ducks and the birds. Next to the fish shop, the quick service, it's gonna be Rose and Crown, the pub. Every time we come through the UK, we try not to stop here and we always fail. Here, we'll get their menu and then you can pause it and scan it if you want to see what they have. You can also get fish and chips in here too. Oh, beacon cocktail, what's that? Gin, blue, lemonade, almond, hibiscus. Um, I've tried one before, not my favorite. It's just some people's favorite, but not mine. Oh. All right, connected to the Rosen Crown Pub is going to be the Rosen Crown Dining Room. So half of it's inside, well I would say like a quarter of it's inside, but most of their dining is going to be outside. So just be prepared for that. You'll probably get sat outside. Or you can also get a fan. Make sure you grab a fan. Grab a fan. Or, or yeah, a cooling yeah. towel. And a cooling towel. Uh, yeah, they yeah, do yeah. have some fans, but to me it doesn't do doesn't do justice if you're already no, outside. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> the humidity, it's just gonna be a hot uh, meal. And, uh, but it'll be a good meal with some fish and chips. Fish and chips. Oh, yeah. uh, the pub burger. Pub burger, oh that my was, gosh. Yeah, it's a pub burger. So good. Oh my gosh. Honestly, that, we, that beer cheese was yes, it? Yes, yeah, the beer, beer cheese, cheese yeah. Oh, yes, you had the curry chicken, we had the pub burger. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think we've had anything bad. Oh, it was, it was good. Yeah, everything yeah. here is good. So, um, if you go to the pub, you cannot take up a table in here. This is only restaurant. What you can do is go around the corner here. And there's a nice little seating area right by the water. Okay, there's the pub. Here's where you check in for your reservation. You can buy a couple of beers here, a couple of draft beers. 
I didn't get anything from the pub. I don't know what I want. Can't make up my mind. I'm finicky today, I guess. Second? No, you're good. You're good. Take it in, man. Take it in. That's a good cider and black. So, I guess I'm too hot. Yeah, you are. Stop. No. It's a hot day and it's so humid. I'm just like, I just want the water. Just want water. Yeah, I'll start drinking later maybe. I don't know. I have to clean the bathroom. Oh, man. I'm, no, I'm supposed yeah. to be working out today. We got, oh. <laughs> Alright, that's been our trek around the UK. Let us know in the comments down below um, what you enjoyed, what you can't wait to come do or eat or buy, uh, which country you want us to do next. We'll be waiting. We'll link the playlist down below of the countries we've already done. Mm -hmm. We've only got a few left. Well, I think maybe we have about half left. I don't know. I can't wait for our last one. Why? Oh, I'm super excited for oh, our last Oh, the last one. one, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've designated Mexico last. So we're, that one's already taken the last spot because that's our favorite. And you're probably going to find one of us feeling good by the end of this video. Yeah. Or not this video, but the that Mexico video. The Mexico video. Yes, yeah. that video. We plan on spending some time in La Cava del Tequila, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to do the whole thing. I want to do the tequila tasting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for trekking with us, and we'll see you real soon. <laughs>